Do you know that after the coalition stalled for nearly a year, exacerbating our labor shortage, Peter Dutton has the audacity to complain about Labour's migration program victory. All those businesses, schools, hospitals and house builders crying out for skilled labor from late 2021 will have every right to be angry at the Department of Home Affairs, DHA, leadership for failing to deliver the 2021-22 migration program by almost 16,500 visas. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our Immigration Information and News Channel, a 2Z Immigration Updates. The 2021-22 migration program delivered 143,556 visas compared to a cabinet-approved planning level of 160,000. This was despite massive application backlogs and an increase in new permanent resident applications from 157,989 in 2021 to 185,030 in 2021-22. This is likely to be quite unlike the 27,583 visa shortfall engineered by Peter Dutton in 2017-18 on his contrived assertion that he was reintroducing integrity to the visa system, he was doing nothing of the sort. Under Dutton, the visa system, in particular asylum visas, was rotted like never before. By November 2021, when DHA knew international borders would soon be reopened, job vacancies had reached over 400,000, a level they had never before seen. The unemployment rate had fallen to 4.2%. That should have been the trigger for DHA leadership to ensure the migration program would be delivered to the cabinet-approved planning level of 160,000 and be ready to deliver at an even higher level if the Morrison government decided it would respond to the extraordinary labor shortages. The DHA leadership continued to ignore the cries for help with labor shortages. Indeed, in January 2022, the Morrison government issued only 200 invitations for skilled independent visas and another 200 for skilled work regional visas, followed in April 2022 by another 1,000 invitations for skilled independent visas and 500 skilled work regional visas. It was not until August 2022 that the Albanese government issued 12,200 skilled independent visa invitations. There is no reason the Morrison government could not have done this in late 2021 and contributed significantly to easing the skilled labor shortages much earlier. Indeed, in September 2022, Peter Dutton ironically said that they do need an increase in the migration numbers, but we'll see what the government actually delivers because this can be many, many months, if not a couple of years, in the pipeline. After the Morrison government sat on its hands for almost 12 months with regard to the labor shortage, Dutton now complains it will take a long time to deliver the increased migration program. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.